in this question we've got a regular hexagon and a regular octagon joined together. Now this is not drawn to scale on purpose, so you cannot just measure the angles, hence the sort of distorted view of the two shapes. However, because we're told they're regular, we can work out what angle X is. Now then, if we look at the hexagon, I can split this hexagon into four triangles. So in a hexagon, the angles inside it add up to four lots of 180 degrees, which is 720 degrees. So each interior angle in there was equal 720 divided by 6, which is 120 degrees. So each angle there is 120. So therefore that angle there is 120. Now in a similar way with the octagon, this can be turned into not four, but six interior triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six lots of 180 is 1080 degrees. So to find out what one of the angles is, inside the octagon, I do 1080 divided by 8, which works out to be 135 degrees. So one of the interior angles is 135 degrees, so therefore that angle must be 135. <coughs> now because those angles there form a circle, then they must add to 360 degrees. So to find x, I do 360, I take away 120, and I take away 135. So if I work that out, the answer becomes 105 degrees. So x has a size of 105 degrees.